Hey chickies, so okay, today we are doing triangles for days. Now the polishes I'm using for this one are a little bit different. I got two soft shades collections from OPI the other day, one in their normal range and one in this infinite shine range. Now the infinite shine range is their hybrid gel polish, which basically means it's gel polish without the light. You don't need to cure it with an LED light or anything like that. You, ha you get the top coat and the bottom coat and the polish, you know, the colors and whatnot go in the middle. And apparently you're supposed to have a cream finish that lasts for days or lasts up to 10 days, sorry. Uh, now, in the package that I got, I did not receive the top and bottom coat. So I can't test that out for you. Can't tell you whether or not that works very well or not. Anyway, regardless of the fact that I paint my nails really very often, so it would have been pointless for them to send me that anyway, I think. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to be using them as regular polish and we'll see how we go. I think it's going to be fine. In fact, I know it is because I'm doing this voiceover after I filmed it. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it. I really hope you like it. I'm using four of the six shades. There are six shades in this collection. Firstly is Non-Stop White. This is a nice white. I do like it. I do like it a lot. The next one is this super soft baby pink. It's called Beyond the Pale Pink. It's like so pale. It looks, yeah, it's really pale. The next one is Eternally Turquoise, although I don't think it looks really that turquoise, but anyway, it's a lovely baby blue. And then the final one is Go to Great Lengths. It's spelled G-R-A-Y-T, so it's kind of clever. Anyway, that's a kind of a silver cream. It's really pretty. As I mentioned before, I don't have the top and bottom coat for this gel polish range, so I'm just going ahead with my Nail Envy from OPI as well. I wanted to see how well these polishes painted on, and I'm, I'm quite impressed. This white is lovely. It's definitely opaque in two coats, just like my Alpine Snow. So if I ran out of Alpine Snow, I'd definitely use this because it's a lovely white. Now, as you can see, it cleans up perfectly using my non-acetone remover and my Royal Majestic brush. So that's not a problem either. I, I mean, I, I don't know precisely what the formula is or the difference in the formula for this polish is as opposed to the regular polish range but it seems to be working perfectly well for me so yeah so far so good I'm going to be using some striping tape so we're going to add a coat of sesh feet over this white base before we move on to the next step Oh, and drying time for that white base was no different than any other nail polish I've ever used really, so that's good too. Now this is the nail striping tape that I'll be using. I bought mine from a nail supply store, nail art supply store, but you can buy it from eBay, Amazon, like literally everywhere. It's so cheap. Now I like to pre-cut my nail striping tape. I find that it's easier to use if you do that, and I just put it on the top of a paint bottle. That's really easy. So let's go ahead and tape up this nail. We're going to do, or we're going to start with three diagonal lines going across diagonally, obviously, across one side of the nail. And then we're going to do three diagonal lines going in the opposite direction. As you can see, I'm not having any problems repositioning that tape. And the only reason I can do that is because I have that fabulous coat of sesh feet over that white base. So please don't forget that step. It's so important. Once you have all of your diagonal pieces down, you can see that you've made a diamond pattern. We're going to turn that diamond pattern into triangles. And to do that, we're going to take a piece of striping tape and put them in the middle of each of those diamonds going across your nail.
and as you can see we now have lots of little triangles on our nail. Now uh, you might want to cut off any excess around the outside, you know, just any excess bits that are hanging over too long, just in case you've cut your striping tape too long, which is what I did. So I'm just going to trim that down a little bit. Now it's time to paint and of course, you know, you can use any polished colours that you choose, but obviously I'm using these soft shades from OPI, starting with the blue. Uh, I'm not painting all of them blue, obviously, as you can see from the first photo. Uh, we're just doing some random blues here and there and then we'll come in with the light pink and then with the silver as well. Remember to make sure that you leave a couple of the triangles completely white. Don't paint them at all because that will give you your gorgeous little pattern. So really important to remember to paint as quickly as you can. We don't want that polish that we're painting in the triangles to dry completely before we take that striping tape off. So as quickly as you can that'd be great just you know just as quickly as again <laughs> So once you've finished painting your triangles, you want to take that striping tape off as quickly as possible, remembering what order you put it on in so you can take it off in the opposite order. Once all of your triangles are completely dry, you can go ahead and seal them all in with your favourite top coat. Of course, mine is Seshvit, so that's what I'm using because I don't have the gel hybrid top coat. Now I'm not sure if you noticed that on the side of a couple of my triangles there's a little bit of red and I think that comes from the striping tape that I used so I would suggest for the future and this is I'm going to do this too is use a striping tape that has a color more close to the colors that I'm using rather than a, such a dark color because that's never happened to me before so I'm not even sure how or why that happened. I don't know what the brand is of striping tape. As far as I know there is no one brand so yeah just keep an eye out for that. Just try and you know do it with you can really see it in that. Oh it's so annoying anyway. Grr. And that's it for this one. I really hope you like it. I'm sorry I can't give you a definitive answer on the wearability of OPI's Infinite Shine range but I can tell you that the polish works just perfectly. It's fine to use as normal polish, not a problem. Now if anybody's interested to know where my cute little silver diamond ring comes from, that is from Alaminada and all the details about everything I use will be in the description box down below as per usual. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye Tiggies. Oh and thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye. Now I know I already said goodbye but I'm still here <laughs> and the reason for that is that I got a question from BMRJMA2144 in relation to Sesh Feet and how to, now this video I'm calling it how to live happily ever after with Sesh Feet. Um, now the, her problem was the, the polish getting gloopy and things like that. Now I know this is a bit of an issue with Sesh Feet and I wanted to show you what my fix for that is. So yeah, let's get into that. Okay, so a disclaimer, I have or have had an obsession with Sesh Feet ever since I first used it about almost four years ago, I would say. Uh, I have about 17 bottles that uh, just sit on my shelf. Now, some of them might be full, some of them might be half full, like, I mean, I'm a glass half full kind of girl. <laughs> uh, but I do know that there is nothing like cracking a, open a brand new bottle of Sesh Feet. It is the most wonderful feeling. It glides on your nail. It's so lovely. It's just lovely. So I understand that and I get at least two bottles every couple of months from HB Beauty Bar when they send me collections from other, you know, China Glaze or OPI or SE or something like that. I always ask for a couple of bottles of Sesh Feet as well because I don't believe I could ever have enough. Now, having said that, what I do with, say, the bottles that are half or three quarters full, I will take one bottle and I will pour 
the rest of that bottle into another bottle and then which will bring it up to a, a full bottle and I do that because we all know and anybody who's ever used their feet knows for absolute sure it's going to go gloopy when it gets to maybe three quarters halfway down uh, so because it just thickens up I don't know why that is they do sell a product called Sesh Restore which I think is just nail thinner I'm not 100% sure I've never had it never really needed it to be honest but that's what I do with the bottles that are about halfway full uh, the other bottles that have a little bit more in them that I've just stopped using because I've got a brand new bottle and I wanted to use that instead. Uh, what I do, well, I mean, once I've filled up that bottle, I get the uh, my OPI, um, what is it, OPI Nail Lacquer Thinner. And I'll show you that in a moment. And we're going to be putting a couple of drops of that about, I think it's 17. I counted and for some reason I stopped at 17. It was very strange. Anyway. So about 10 to 20 drops of nail lacquer thinner and once you've got that in there you're going to put the lid on it and you're going to shake it like nothing else because you want it to really mix and there are no uh, none of those little metal balls in a Sashvit bottle so you're going to shake it and 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 yes that's going to cause air bubbles so you would never do this with a bottle that you intend to use straight away. What I do with that bottle with the air bubbles in it is I put it on my shelf for at least a couple of days, maybe a week. And by the time I'm ready to use it or I need to use that particular bottle, I can go ahead, no problems at all. And that's basically all I do. So I, I suppose I'm saying you should never buy just one bottle of Sesh Feet. <laughs> and I really do believe that you should never buy it. You should always buy at least three. Or you can buy it in a larger bottle. They sell it in a much bigger bottle as well. Um, I think it's enough to fill up about three or four of the standard 15 ml bottles anyway I have bought one of those before but it was a long time ago um, I'm lucky in the fact that HB Beauty Bar do send me Sesh Feet so I'm lucky in that respect but if I wasn't in that position I would be buying it on eBay or you know all from HB Beauty Bar I have bought before we had this relationship I did used to buy it from them anyway uh, yeah so I really hope that was helpful if it wasn't, feel free to ask any questions. I'll try and um, answer them as clearly as I can. Anyway, I hope that answers your question. So I'm going now. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies.